I am Jared Betts, and I am an abstract painter, sometimes a neo-abstract painter, inspired by abstract expressionism. I'm kind of a silly boy. <laughs> I know that I'm different. <laughs> I'm becoming addicted to the land. Just, I go out there just to maybe check on one thing, and then I, it's been like three or four hours. Gardening in the forest has like changed my life. My family was very inspired by nature, and we went to fun it work all the time, and we were inspired by animals like the deer, and the eagles, and I always think that different animals are a good luck sign. And, um, I also started liking cobras <laughs> as my license list says, and my ring. Am I doing the introduction? Okay. <laughs> okay. My friend told me that they had a place in the forest and that their neighbor was moving. <clears throat> and I didn't know what it was even going to be when I went to come see it. I knew that she had a cool place across the street. It's a bungalow. I was like, okay, I'm going to see a cool bungalow that potentially could be something I'd get. But mostly I had no clue I was actually going to get it. Until I was standing by the river and I felt a lot. And so I had a connection in space. And then when I saw it, it was a very magic place and I had a lot of different people guiding and helping me because the home buying process was crazy. Especially during a pandemic with a multiple buyer scenario. So I was very lucky to get this place because they opened me, but I fan fantasy them because the person that was selling it was a healer. She like healed with like the gazebo by the river the oak tree. So she wanted someone to have a special connection to the land. The people helping me, they were like, when you go to see the place, try not to talk too much about fantasy or fairies or things. This pachinko machine. It's from Tokyo. It's a anime gambling machine that's based off the kids game Plinko. I cut out these anime shorties to remind me to eat. And this one's like telling me, Jared, take studio breaks and eat, you little hussy. <laughs> Did you ever see Terrifier? Well. Do you like clowns? You want them to think that you are serious about buying it. <laughs> but then after I knew that I was gonna get it, then I was allowed to go full fantasy and <laughs> tell them just how magical this place truly felt to me. Welcome to Everything Shaker to Please. Thank you. Uh, yes, I'll get uh, some sliders. I'm gonna get a buffalo chicken slider, a Montreal smoked meat slider, and a jalapeno roast beef slider, uh, curly fries, and a small root beer. A small curly fry? Yes. And a small root beer? Yes, and could I get extra horsey sauce, please? Okay, and that's everything? Yep. Okay, and that's fifteen ninety three. Draw through, please. Perfect, thank you. You're welcome. If 
I had a half pipe in my garage, so it was just covered with graffiti in there. Um, and when I'd go to visit my grandparents in Connecticut, there were certain bridges that would go under, and there'd be people from New York. New York is just a train right away, so people from New York would go to tr Connecticut and paint under the, the train uh, bridges. And so that's where I got to see some of the best stuff, so since high school till now, so. Is that 30 years? Can I count? No, I'm not 50. <laughs> 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> Illustration, fine arts, graffiti, all these different things. There's all these imaginary borders that people put up that they don't have to be there. And none of them are not fine art in my opinion. Like, I don't see where illustration, animation, fine art, and all these things. I don't know where one starts and one ends, so they all kind of mesh together, which is what I'm learning I can do with my work, because I originally was going to be an animator, so I was going to school in Miramichi and getting taught by people from Disney at like 18, and they were like, your stuff is so good, and I'm like, I don't believe in myself. <laughs> so I dropped out just because I was 18, and it's all too much. Um, it's funny about being musical or an artist and finding that confidence within your voice of your creations, but after tw 20 years since high school, I'm learning that you do anything for like even more than five years, then you need to be confident in what you're doing because that's your main focus. And now, I basically moved to this place specifically to paint. That's what I do. Everything that is my art, like every travel is to gain inspiration for series. <laughs> um, but I still sometimes kept graffiti separate. I don't know. Um, but I'm realizing it can be pretty big. Especially train yards, walking through the trains and seeing just car after car after car just like covered in feet from all around the world, all around Canada, US. Um, and it's like a free gallery, you know, it's an underground gallery. It's really cool. Jesus Christ. So I was going from the gym to get a new car stereo. <laughs> nice. But um, yeah, I got a concussion and a whiplash, and so yeah, it it stopped everything, you know. Like I, I was going to pyro physio. I couldn't move my neck. I couldn't like nod. And I had headaches like at all different places, and I didn't know what was going on. But <clears throat> I couldn't like open a fridge. I like my head and like my all like everything was kind of unaligned. And I didn't. I never knew what a concussion was until I had one. And um, it's wild because I was doing so many things. I was like unstoppable. I was <laughs> The specialists, they didn't want me to not do things. Like, it, it's almost worse to just lay down and do nothing. But they said, find that balance. Like, don't do, don't go too wild. There's something about going into cold water that, like, 
shocks her system. And I need like... <laughs> I need like all the shock. <laughs> I need like to be like... Hang out with like electric needles. <laughs> to heal. <laughs> yeah, I think harnessing energy to, to do things that sometimes you're too in your head. It's like, let's be more cobra or let's be more dolphin. The 506 mural that I painted on the shipping container was the first mural that I was able to do since hurting my neck and my head. Um, uh, it is very empowering to be able to do that mural and to know that I can paint again because I didn't paint for like a year. But I'm finally starting to trust in some form of greater power with energies and I think it all comes down to being a, a good person too. So much is happening to me since like moving to the country. It's like things have slowed down and became more clear. And when you step back, I think that's when you're able to be like a slingshot. So it's like all these ideas are culminating while I'm still like healing and can't do these giant projects and like making all these lists and binders and like people that I can talk to that can give advice on different ways to approach it. And then it's just gonna, I don't know, I see a momentum that's gonna be happening. And I think that's just like the beauty of the momentum is that things stack, they continue to stack. <laughs> I got it. It's <laughs> the perfect way to send it off. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.